breaking gruesome details tonight in a death investigation in Wilkes-Barre after a press conference at police headquarters. The Luzerne County District Attorney confirming five people are now in custody in connection to the incident on Carlisle Street. It's the latest on a story we first brought to you in February. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules is live with more on what we are learning tonight. Alicia. Aaron and Ann, all five suspects were charged with the murder, torture and kidnapping of 38 year old Nicole Cuevas. During her stay there, uh, she was handcuffed to a basement post. Over the course of several weeks, she was severely beaten. Desiree Lynette, Sarai Doyle, Jason Race, William Wolf and Faith Beamer all charged with brutally murdering, torturing, and kidnapping Cuevas over the course of several weeks, which led to her death sometime in April of 2023. These brutal beatings Cuevas endured during her stay at 142 Carlisle Street resulted in multiple injuries, including slash and stab wounds in several places like her arm, torso, and her back, nearly all of her ribs being broken and her nasal cavity being destroyed. And her hyoid bone in her neck was broken. Uh, that is generally indicative to investigators of a strangulation. Cuevas's cause of death was ruled to be asphyxiation and the manner of death homicide. After her death, her body was wrapped in a tarp, tied with electrical cords and rope, and buried in the dirt floor basement of 142 Carlisle Street. According to court documents, an eight-year-old child was present for the murder. However, the eight-year-old was warned by Race and Beamer that if they told anyone, the same thing would happen to them and Lynette. Officials say Cuevas came to Wilkesbury from Michigan with Lynette, but upon her arrival in Wilkesbury, she began staying at 142 Carlisle Street with three of the suspects. While living at the home, her roommate situation eventually went downhill, leading to Cuevas attempting to gather money to return to Michigan. However, she was ultimately unsuccessful in doing so. The DA has also confirmed that the body found just off of the Cross Valley Expressway last month was the body of Deborah Fox, the owner of the home at 142 Carlisle Street during the murder of Cuevas. Uh, these investigators are continuing to actively work this case. Uh, we are additionally and conjunctively working the death investigation of Deborah Fox. Officials believe that Fox's death and Cuevas's death are connected. However, the circumstances surrounding Fox's death are still being investigated. Reporting live from Wilkes-Barre, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first at 10.